Hello, this is Simon Klein from Tradesmart on the 3rd of February 2019. Welcome to this week's episode of Where is a Dollar Going Next? And what you see before you is a dollar index on the daily chart wound back to the end of the previous week. We said last week that if the dollar was able to go above this supply zone above, it's likely to continue moving to the upside, whereas if it was able to go below this demand zone, it's likely to continue moving to the downside. So let's take a look at how the market played out last week. On Monday, we moved slightly below the demand zone, making the odds greater on a continuation of the move to the downside. On Tuesday, we moved up slightly. On Wednesday, we continued to move to the downside. On Thursday, we moved down into demand and then moved to the upside. And on Friday, we moved slightly higher, closing the week over here. So the question is this, what are the odds of where the dollar is likely to go next this week? If we're able to go above and close above this supply zone above, it's likely the dollar will continue moving to the upside, whereas if we are going to turn to the downside and go down and close below this demand zone below, it's likely the dollar will continue moving to the downside. So let's take a look at the larger time frames. So if we take a look at the weekly chart, you can see that we're still in demand. We've put in a lower high, so based on the pivot analysis, it's highly likely that we'll go below this pivot and put in a lower low. But if we're able to hold this demand zone, the dollar may continue to move to the upside and we start to get more bullish again once we go above the highs of this pivot. And if we take a look at the monthly chart, you can see that this so far is a pullback. So long as we maintain a higher pivot low above this pivot, it's highly likely we'll continue to move to the upside. And if we do, we may see the dollar reaching the 100 mark this year. On the other hand, if the dollar continues to pull back and is not able to hold this pivot low over here, then it's highly likely to continue moving to the downside. So these are the odds of where the dollar is likely to go next this week. What I'd like to do now is point your attention to three live trading events that are happening this week. Tomorrow, on Monday, February the 4th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, myself, along with other traders, will be discussing the future movement of the S&P 500. Then on February the 6th at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, I'll be doing a live market analysis using supply and demand. We'll dive into the current live market and identify opportunities that are setting up right now based on supply and demand. And finally, on February the 9th, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, I'm taking part in Webinar Expo. I'm gonna be speaking at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, and my topic is how to become a successful trader with any size account. So what I'll do is leave the links below this video, whether you're watching on my YouTube channel or my blog, where you can sign up for all of these events. That's all for now. This is Simon Klein from TradeSmart. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe at the end. Wishing you the best of luck with your trading this week.